I've used a MacBook for the last six years of my life, and it's genuinely been my most treasured possession for school. I do everything from coding to note taking to making videos, watching movies, and even making 3D renders on my MacBook, and it has never once let me down. Arc is my browser of choice. It's Chromium based, which means that you can install all your favorite Chrome extensions on it. My personal favorite is the Video Speed Controller Chrome extension, which lets you speed up and slow down any video up to 10x speed using keyboard shortcuts. This is extremely useful for watching lectures, going through podcasts, or just trying to speed through those required video orientations that you just have to get through. I also love Arc for its Spaces feature. This feature lets me compartmentalize my internet life into a variety of categories. I can have one page for my school, my personal projects, and my jobs and research. Um, and it really helps me organize everything that I do online. Arc also has a lot of little things that just makes browsing the web a lot more intuitive to me. My favorite feature is the control tab feature that lets you toggle quickly through previous windows, just like you're alt tabbing on your Mac. And the command shift C keybind quickly copies the current link. This might seem small, but I've honestly used it pretty much every day um, doing anything. You can also configure custom shortcuts. My favorite one is command shift plus quote, which I set up, um, but basically it opens a new tab in split screen mode. And this is super helpful for me to just when I'm doing two things at once and I need to reference one browser window. Within Arc on the internet, I use Superhuman for my email. Superhuman is a expensive email client, probably too expensive, that it supposedly lets you get through your emails in half the time. As you can see, I have not really been using it to its full capabilities. So I should probably cancel this subscription of $10 a month. My next app that I will die by is Remnote. Remnote is a note-taking app made by students for students and lets you make flashcards extremely easily when you type your notes out. You can then also use Remnote to quiz yourself for exams or quizzes or anything that's coming up and it even has integrated AI features to help you write your notes faster. I use Remnote for all my CS notes, for my math notes, for my bartending notes. It's just really helpful. And I've been using it for such a long time that I have a huge knowledge base built up of all my previous notes that I can look back on and study up on. AkiFlow is by far my favorite application that I have on my MacBook. AkiFlow is a task management system that bundles your to-do list with your calendar in an extremely seamless way. There's actually quite a few of these applications out there, but the reason I prefer AkiFlow over similar apps is because of its clean UI and its keyboard shortcuts that let me capture tasks and ideas as soon as they pop up. You can organize tasks into projects, quickly set deadlines and times using natural language, and the overall feel is just so intuitive. It also incorporates your calendar, so you don't need Google Calendar anymore. Um, honestly, it's more convenient to use than Google Calendar, and you can easily time block all your tasks onto your calendar directly and manage events and other stuff just like you would on Google Calendar. I love AkiFlow so much. There's extra features like sending available times, even looking at your teammates' um, calendars, but for the to-do list and calendar portion of the app, it's honestly the best app that I've found so far for keeping track of what you're doing. AkiFlow has a daily ritual system, which lets you plan out your day, it helps you plan out your week, and it helps you shut down after the day's end um, and after the week's end to review on how you did, how you felt, and what you want to do tomorrow. And honestly, I think this is a small feature, but it really helps me think about my tasks in a healthier way. Another app that greatly improves my quality of life is Raycast. Raycast is a spotlight search replacement that offers a lot more functionality. It searches my files a lot faster and more accurately than Spotlight, um, and that's honestly what I use Raycast the most for. But it also has a wide, wide range of plugins and extensions because it's open source that can integrate with other apps. For example, I can ask ChatGPT quick questions super quickly from Raycast from anywhere on my Mac using the ChatGPT extension. You can also integrate Raycast with the next app I'm going to talk about. That app is Session. Session is my Pomodoro timer of choice. I use it mostly to help me start working on homework when I don't have motivation. I tell myself I'm just going to work for 45 minutes and I start a session and it usually turns into a longer study session because getting started is really the hardest part of doing any work. And seeing the timer visually also helps me focus on working for some reason. I can't explain it. 
And um, you can also configure it to block certain websites while you're focusing. For example, I have YouTube and Reddit blocked. Um, you should wait to set that up until after you finish this video. But it's so nice because you can track all the statistics of your previous focus sessions. You can look on what you did, take notes on what you did that session, and also see it pop up in your calendar. Session has a lot of functionality, and the greatest thing I love about it is that it doesn't ring an annoying noise and stop the timer once you finish your Pomodoro session. In my opinion, the Pomodoro technique should be used to get yourself into the flow when you're doing work. And session will notify you when the time is up, but it won't stop the timer and it'll just turn into a stopwatch. And so you can kind of track how long you've been working for. Notion is my place for all things life planning. It's blown up recently, but it's honestly my, one of my most versatile apps that I have. I'm reading this script off of Notion right now. I write my goals down in Notion. I do my journaling in Notion. And I also put all my miscellaneous notes in here. This extremely modular design means that you can really customize your workspace to fit whatever needs that you have. Google Drive File Stream is a neat app that syncs your Google Drive with your local file system. This means you can pretty much interact with your Google Drive as if it's locally on your computer. And it works both ways too. So you can automatically sync everything you put in a local folder with your Google Drive. I use this app to back up all my important school files and videos, my homework, my notes, without having to separately add them to Google Drive every time. Of course, I have Spotify to listen to music while I study. Though you technically work slower when listening to music, music makes your studying and working a lot more enjoyable. So honestly, it's super worth it to listen to music when you study. These are gonna be a few quick ones here. Paste is a useful clipboard history manager that stores your entire clipboard history so you don't lose anything that you copy. I like how Paste lets you search and organize your clipboard history and it also looks super clean. Rectangle is my window management app of choice. It's free and lets you snap your windows using mouse movements or keyboard shortcuts. It honestly makes working with, on multiple things at the same time a lot easier and honestly, whenever I see someone manually resizing their window on Mac now, I just cringe inside because Rectangle makes it so much more seamless. Now I'm gonna talk about settings and options that you can configure to make your Mac a lot better. The first setting that you have to turn on is automatically hide and show the dock. Turning this feature on will let you mouse over the dock and have it go away when you mouse off. And this just gives you a little bit more screen real estate to do your work. Another setting that gives you more screen real estate on your Mac is the more space feature in the display settings. Turning on more space gives you like 1.5 times more space on your laptop screen, which is great if you need more space on a small display. Um, personally, I keep this one off because it hurts my eyes to look at such small font, but I used to have it on for a long time and honestly, it gives you a lot more space to, to do your work. Um, low power mode is a simple one, but my Mac is a few years old now and its battery life is really not what it used to be. Um, so I keep low power mode on when it's unplugged and this honestly makes a huge difference. My Mac doesn't die anymore during school and I can make it through the whole day on one charge usually. Um, in terms of accessories, I have the Logitech MX Master 3. This mouse is so useful because it lets you swipe gestures but using the thumb button on the mouse right here. I think this thumb button will let you simulate trackpad gestures which just makes moving around on your Mac so much easier. And then I also use this Logitech keyboard, super satisfying, um, just to help me type a little bit better. That's all for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed and that this helped make you even 1% more productive on your Mac. Um, if this helped you, please consider liking or subscribing and I'll see you with more study vlogs and other content in the future. Peace.